Uh, los. Are you ready for the summer? Billy's like, nah, man, I'd rather stay at the couch. Molly's like, yeah, yeah, let's go, let's go. Molly. Ja. Tack. I mean, this is incredible. Remember when I walked this exact pathway for like six weeks ago and how much snow it was? But we finally got some, you know, summer weather. It's amazing. <laughs> and three times I managed to barbecue some chicken. And it's just April. Nope, nope. Once again, we're not taking the car. So even though these dogs love snow, or at least, I mean, Molly does. I don't know about Vilde here. <laughs> They're really excited about see finally seeing the grass. And as you can see, there's still quite much snow on this little hill but it's mostly because there's so much uh, i don't know the english word for it but you know tiny stones basically everywhere so you probably understand why i'm so excited about you know the snow melting finally i can walk here without getting so damn wet up uh, los bra duktig Nej, bra Vilde, kom! Bra! Duktig tjej Vilde, duktig tjej! So, what, what just happened there is, Vilde is actually a poop eater. <laughs> Molly's not, I say that, you know, Molly's not as disgusting. <laughs> Obviously it's a joke, but, you know, it's really annoying that she's eating poop. Uh, you know, you don't want her to get an upset stomach or anything like that. So, I'm, get, I'm quite harsh on her, especially I get quite frustrated when she's trying to eat the poop as fast as possible because she knows I'm gonna correct her. But obviously I did reward her behavior when she spit it out. So that was really good. Duktig Vilde. Duktig tjej. So I'm gonna explain something real quick. Uh, these dogs, especially Molly, but when I let them loose, I gotta let Molly loose first. Because all Vilde is doing is waiting, so excited, She's just gonna wait till I release Molly. And when two dogs, especially these dogs, when they get that extra energy in like, you know, seconds, it's very easy for them to, you know, redirect that energy towards each other. So even though they like each other, they could clash and it's just so, you know, unnecessary. So my way is telling them to stay and then I'm gonna release Molly first and get Vilde quite calm and then I'm gonna release them. But she, you're gonna see, she's still gonna be very excited, but at least that energy won't be redirected to a clash, you know, to a, to a fight or correction between these dogs. Stanna. Molly, stanna. Vilde, stanna. Stanna. <laughs> Molly, okay, for <laughs> So as you see, that energy just bam. So even though I said to Molly like, Okay, with a really calm voice. Yes, you're really good, Vilde Duktische. Still her energy is like over, all over the place. And you're gonna see, Vilde's basically gonna do the same, but at least they're not close to each other, so they could... Molly, stand up in then. Molly, sit, sit. And they're not allowed to use sticks either, because yeah, I don't know, it's just unnecessary. So that's a rule that we have. Okay, Vilde. Okay. Nay. Where is that thing that she's gonna eat? No, it's a, just a sour. Like a what the fuck? It's like a. It's like a sausage. I'm gonna throw it away. Build it. Nope. That's not to you. <laughs> just gonna throw it. Other side of the fence. There it is. Okay. Go and play, whatever you're doing, do your thing. This is so unusual. I mean, usually Vilde is chasing Molly like all over the place. You've probably already seen it if you're, uh, you know, usually watch. 
If you usually watch our videos, you know that Ville is like always following Molly. But now she knew there was a sausage over there or a poop or whatever it was. Disgusting. <laughs> so, so immediately she got quite calm. So that's another good point of why you can bring toys or treats so you can get that focus on, you know, yourself instead of having your dogs being so damn energetic and have and I'm focused. Where should go? Okay. Will the nay come? So silly. Here she comes. I really put Wilde on her place, so I know... Will Molly! Nay! You know, I can't even finish a sentence before someone is interrupting me with bad behavior. She's stunning today in this sunny weather. Nay, Molly! Come on, stanna! You know, stanna! <sighs> I recently... Mm. Two days ago, we took a shower. Come on. Oh, this is off. Oh. The life having a dog, it's amazing. <laughs> you just have to, you know, keep a good mood. Or else you just go nuts and be so frustrated. So that's a good combo that Molly invented. Roll on the snow and then roll on the dry grass. So you get extra dirty. <laughs> Apparently, these flowers is illegal to pick up, according to the authorities. It's some special flowers, and don't you eat them? You don't want to go to dog jail. <laughs> so yeah, they are illegal to pick up. So I'm just gonna let them grow. But as you see, they like everywhere. Come up, build it, bro. Will the night, will the night, bro. It's so frustrating. I'm used to Molly just running around, playing, having fun, whatever, doing doggy things. But Wilde's like, if she's not chasing Molly, all she does is trying to find some food. You're getting food twice a day and you're getting treats at home. But still, I mean, you're not gonna starve. It's that stupid instinct of eating, you know, I don't know, Anyway, I really enjoy just letting them loose, let them do their thing. And I can just enjoy the weather, you know, it's healthy to, for me to... Oh, there's a lot of illegal flowers over there. Maybe it's because that's Molly's pooping place. <laughs> Maybe I can r get rich illegally. Just letting Molly poop all over the place. These illegal flowers, quite beautiful. They grow everywhere and then I just can go and pick them up sell them for a hundred bucks so molly finally can get some decent dog food <laughs> kidding they get the best dog food i mean i earn a total of ten dollars on this youtube thing a month so damn it's a lot of dog food for that money i think they were... yeah molly was tracking a dead crow like two days ago they're not allowed to go here but poor thing Probably a lot of diseases and shit like that. Will is probably gonna roll all over it if she, if I allowed her. Nope, you're not allowed to. Damn it. I don't wanna shower you too. Poor thing. Wonder if it got shot or if it's it if it's natural causes, I don't know. But we're never gonna find out. Rest in peace, crow. Will that Yeah. Molly, did you know if you eat those illegal flowers, you're going to doggy jail. And that's not good. That's that's like holy shit. Alright. <laughs> I have a family dinner, so I better get home in like 30 minutes, something like that. I really hope you guys enjoy these sort of videos, because I really enjoy being out here at least. And uh, 
there's gonna come a lot of dog training videos to be honest like informative videos because i really get frustrated when i see these dog trainers talking like really vague about how you can correct your dog how to get you know how to teach your dog certain things and i know for a fact i've been there myself when you're not that experienced you can't be vague about dog tips you gotta really go into details like this is how it is every dog is different but for this type of dog you can do this you can try another thing i mean there's not just one answer for every dog universally you you know it's basically a science and that's what i'm trying to teach when i talk to my friends or when i try to learn myself i go to dog science stuff like that whatever so molly hit build up yes yes <laughs> Duke D, the recall is getting on point, Wilde. Yes. So anyway, a lot of informative videos is coming up. Hope you guys will enjoy them too. And it really helps if you put down a comment, if you like and subscribe. Liking a video really helps me. Uh, you know, the YouTube algorithm and everything like that. Stupid train comes and I'm just gonna wait for it to pass. All right, it's gone. <laughs> so yeah, as I was saying, it really helps if you put down a comment, even you put down a comment with two dots on it, I don't know. And if you're liking the video, it, it really helps me. And, uh, it's a great way, you know, it's cheap, doesn't cost anything, it's for free, but it's a great way to, if you want to support this channel, I mean, no one is forcing you, obviously, do whatever that you want. Um, but I just want to put it out there. So you know that uh, a comment and a like really helps my future videos. If you like the videos, if you want those informative videos to be put out there, you know. <sighs> I talk way too much. Let's go home. Damn it. Oh yeah, I can now use it. <laughs> I really forgot where I put the leashes. But Molly is really good at tracking, uh, you know, her own stuff or whatever that I'm showing her. Molly. Where's the couplet? Sick couple. Sick couple. Duke T! Yes! Let's see if that was delicious. Nah. Yes, it was. I mean, Molly deserves a like just for that little trick, for sure. I mean, for sure. A like, a subscribe, a notification, a comment, like $1,000 on Patreon. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't even have a Patreon. All right, guys. Stay positive. Spoil your dog. Peace.